Berlin is hip and trendy. And it looks that way too in many ads. But not Club Colas, until now. Budding advertising executives train here at the Design Academy in Berlin's Kreuzberg district. They've just begun their studies, but soon they'll be shooting their first commercials. More senior students have already produced their own ads. One example is Club Cola. Got any cola? No. A Club Cola. The video plays with the concept of under-the-counter goods in the former East Germany, reserved for the chosen few. In the academy, the design professor is working on the shape for a new bottle. He believes that Club Cola needs a complete relaunch, and he's already come up with ideas to strengthen its brand image, mainly by moving away from so-called Ostalgie, the nostalgic association with East Germany. I'm convinced they need a new bottle to improve their market share. Unfortunately, at the moment, they're using a standardized bottle that means they've lost their individuality in the marketplace. They used to have their own bottle, and their label had a much clearer and more original design. Club Cola's parent company is Spreekwell. Its head of marketing had the Berlin design students shoot the commercial. She wanted it to put a positive spin on life in the former East Germany. Rather than competing with the soda giants, beverage company Spreekwell targets a niche market. We're not a mainstream cola. Our product isn't too sweet, which is an advantage in terms of taste. It helps that many people like that. They say it tastes different than Coca-Cola and has its own merits. The soft drink was developed at the request of East German leaders. They wanted a cola whose look and taste could rival those of Western brands. Club Cola came out in 1967. Erich Honecker even drank it during state visits. After German reunification, production ceased briefly, before Spreekwell reintroduced the brand in 1992. That's how I experienced it as a youth in East Germany. They wanted to offer people similar things that could match Western standards wherever possible. And they knew the time was ripe for a new cola, one with more cola nut extract, and that people would like it. Spreekwell earns most of its money with mineral water. The company has a yearly turnover of 20 million euros. Club Cola occupies a niche. In Western Germany, big American cola brands still dominate the market. But in the German capital, Club Cola has many loyal fans. Still, the Berlin design students and their instructor believe there's work to be done if the brand is to attract new customers. On the one hand, they have to try to retain the popularity and clarity of the brand, which people in Berlin and the surrounding area know from the time when the war was still up. On the other hand, they must do something to attract a new target audience. And for that, they need a kind of individuality they don't have at present. The designers want to give Club Cola a new label and bottle. Then they believe the beverage could capture the heart of all Germans.